this is still Unit 6 of Hansen and Quinn. We're talking about subjunctives that can be main verbs of sentences, okay? Um, and there are three kinds of sentences in which this works. Um, the first type are what are, the book calls hortatory, which is the same word as exhortation in English. Um, when you exhort somebody to do something, and in this case, it's you and you, the speaker, and someone else, okay? Or it can just be, be you yourself, okay? It's, in other words, the verb is going to be first person singular or plural in the subjunctive. Um, it's let's go get ice cream, okay? Let us get ice cream is what's going on there. Um, and in Greek, you, you put the verb in such a sentence in the subjunctive. In this case, it's going to be an error subjunctive. It's let's be getting ice cream to be literal-minded if it's going to be a present subjunctive, all right? Um, that's one type of sentence in which you use uh, a subjunctive. You're, you're not stating a truth. You're urging people to do something. The second one is prohibitions, that is, negative commands, telling people not to do something, okay, instead of urging them on. Um, and in this case, the verb is always in the second person, singular or plural, and it's always aorist. So don't eat that ice cream when you'd put the verb eat in the aorist subjunctive, and you'd use the negative me, right? Since it's not a true statement, you can't use u. Right. And then finally, there are deliberative questions. Deliberative questions mean questions in which you're asking yourself, the speaker, um, what to do. Okay, should I or should we eat this ice cream? It can be either first person singular or plural. Um, and and uh, so it's a question in which the subject is I or we, and you're asking yourself the question. So let's look at a few simple examples in Greek. Um, wait, these are these are the key things that are, that make these distinctive. One is that again to repeat that the subjunctives are the verbs of main clauses, not of dependent sentences. All right, like purpose clauses or conditions, which is what we've learned, where we learned to use subjunctives before. And you can't figure out how to translate these subjunctives until you figure out which of the three types it is. So when you see a subjunctive as the main verb of a sentence, you have to ask yourself, is it a prohibition? Is it a, an exhortation? Or is it a question, a deliberative question? All right, so here are our three examples. The hortatory one, the exhortation, you could put an exclamation point after it. Let's stop the battle, okay? Um, you're exhorting a group. Don't stop the battle, okay? Uh, again, telling people not to do something. And the deliberative one. Should we be stopping the battle? Am I, are we to stop the battle? That's another way, a kind of more archaic way of saying it. But mm -hmm. should we be stopping the battle is the regular one. So those are, that's a present subjunctive. It can be, the subjunctive in any of these can be present or errors, depending on what you want to do. Except for this one. All right.